this. <laughs> um. I'll do that to myself. Nova Miller. Today I'm going to be answering some of your beauty related questions and I'm also going to give Tina a makeover. Both hair and makeup actually. She needs it. She's struggling. So let's help her. Let's start with the eyeliner. Don't mind my bag. It, I've had it since I was like 10 years old. It's extremely dirty, never been washed. It's just a tradition. I'm going to just go like this and start like in the middle of the eye and then and then go like this kind of down like that and then go out and then just go straight and then fill it in a little bit okay there we go that's cute okay that's it that's a good eyeliner that's a, tell me that's not a good wing that's a very good wing. I'm happy with that. I feel these people upstairs that are tr that are doing whatever they're doing with the noise. I have no idea what it is. I feel them because, and I would never complain because I've been getting so many noise complaints in my apartment complex. I almost got kicked out. And if you've seen like some of my TikToks or singing videos, some of them are in the garage. And I'm telling you, it's literally because of my noise complaints, I can't sing in my apartment. I never leave my house if my eyeliner isn't matching because um, it is disturbing the whole day and I would rather bring it and fix it wherever I'm going. I'll take my white um, eyeshadow. Oh, she has like a little 2000 like glittery eyeliner going on already. Let's get rid of that immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna put my um, white crayon. It looks way nicer on her than it looks on me. I think white eyeliner is always a necessity. I think it works for everything. I think it just makes the eye pop. It just, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, I have no idea. But um, I think it just makes it look like you know what you're doing and we love that. All right, uh, that's awful. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really bad. Um, it's okay, it's not too bad. I'm just, it's fashion. Spider, but make it fashion. Okay, so now it's time to give Tina her hair makeover. I'm gonna be given a picture of a iconic 60s hairstyle and I'm gonna try to recreate it. And I love the 60s, I love that era. My music is very inspired by it. And I think that the hair and makeup was just like, so beautiful. So let's do it. Oh, what the hell? Who chose this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can do that. Two wigs. We got two wigs. Okay. Mm, let's see. <gasps> yes, this is cute. This is like Cher. Oh, it has like a little lace front as well. I'm not cutting this one. I'm keeping it for something. Oh my god, we have two? Okay. We can do this. Okay. I'm just gonna start with this and just gonna start curling it and we'll see how it goes. I've never used, done this method before, but I feel like it's gonna be good. I feel like this is gonna be successful. It feels good. I love doing other people's hair and makeup. Whenever my friends come over or whenever someone like has an event to go to, I will be like, please let me do your hair and makeup because I love the way that like, like if I do a good job and it makes the other person happy, like that's my love language. That's how I show people I love them because <laughs> I don't know how to hug people and be close to them. Wait, that is, that looks like a kawaii, I don't even know. 
I'm realizing as I'm doing this, I'm realizing that someone has actually done this hairstyle before. So like, this is not impossible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like someone has done this to her. Who did this? Can we find out? Because it's inspiring. Well, in Swedish school, we don't really have the same system as like in the US and I went to Swedish school. So there's not really any like sports or anything like that. This more like you do it outside of school and outside of school, I was always doing music and I used to be a dancer. So I used to uh, be a ballet dancer and I danced like so much. My whole family are musicians, basically. I, my dad plays the bass, my mom plays the flute, the recorder, and they all like write music and stuff. And my dad is also an MD. My grandparents are pianists, and my sister used to play the cello and the harp. I could go on because it just keeps going. I was always so inspired by my parents. I was always very inspired by them because I, I would always see like my parents, I, wouldn't, I didn't see them very much growing up because they were always out on tour and always working and always like making music and they really had to like hustle as musicians. I thought it was really cool and I wanted to be like them. Obviously, here I am. Okay, I feel like it's starting to look more like a I don't know, it's like a little bit of a bouffant over here, but I'm happy with the curls and I'm just kind of like making the rest more beautiful because like over here it's like beautiful. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, she, at least she has beautiful makeup. Yep, I'm just going to um, forget about this wig for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what, I, it's good to try things. It's good to try new things and challenge yourself. And I think that was an experience I will never forget about. I can't believe this is the finished product. I can't believe it, but um, it's outside of my skills. I'm still happy though. I'm staying positive and I, I, I think next time it'll be easier because I've tried this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Um, it would make me really happy. And follow me on my other social media platforms on Instagram and Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Let me know in the comments what your biggest hair disappointment was. This is absolutely mine. She's checking out, she's going to the Bahamas, she needs a relaxing weekend. I'll do that to myself.